Thanks for watching Film Buff, really, honestly. It's <laughs> fucking great. <laughs> Alright, dude. How's it going guys? My name is M Filmba. Alright man, so uh, I think I can actually do a couple of episodes back to back again. Uh, you know, I did that for the first three episodes and that was fun. Um, uh, and yeah, you know, uh, I think I can do uh, maybe three more again, you know, we'll see how it goes. Uh, but at least two for sure. Now I'll mention this in the pinned comment as well, but basically... Um, um, for anyone that's new to my channel, every now and then I kind of have to step away from YouTube for a bit, uh, for work-related stuff. Uh, I work freelance, so, you know, anytime I get a gig, like an editing gig, you know, and sometimes other stuff. Um, so I'll, you know, I'll be gone for about 10 days, um, uh, till the 18th. But yeah, you know, my plan is to put a few, uh, things out before I leave. Uh, you know, leave you guys with a little something. Um, but yeah, you know, that's what I'm doing right now. Just, I'm just gonna watch a few episodes back to back and edit them and kind of just, you know, put them out one by one. But once I do come back, you know, I'm gonna do it this way. I'm gonna binge three or four episodes on days I have off from other stuff. Um, so I, you know, I feel like I'm gonna get through the rest of the show much, much quicker, um, than I have so far. Uh, and I think, you know, I feel like I'll be caught up in no time. Yeah, man, let's, uh, let's just get into the next episode. So quick recap, episode three. Basically, Yal Borg took over uh, Ragnar's lands, you know, and Rolo put up a fight, uh, a good effort, just didn't have enough fighting men, you know, um, good fighting men. Yeah, man, Rolo, Aslog, and the kids, and a few of the townspeople are up in the mountains. Um, Ragnar and uh, King Horik, and, you know, the whole squad is uh, in England, you know, King Eckbert. That's what I've been told. Uh, I was told I was uh, pronouncing it wrong. Apparently, that wasn't the right pronunciation. Etchbert, um, no, because uh, I you know I just said Etchbert because that's what Uthelston said in the guards. You know, back and forth, they said Etchbert, but I, I guess that was in a different language. But apparently, Eckbert is uh, the more common pronunciation, so I'll stick with that. So unfortunately, I haven't had the chance to dip into the comments for the first three episodes of this season. Now, this is because there are spoilers in there, and obviously, you know, if there's spoilers, I can't really go in. You know, that would just kind of mess up the show for me. So yeah, unfortunately, you know, I do apologize if you've left questions or uh, comments that haven't even been replied to. But yeah, but feel free to, if you have a question and like you notice that I, I'm not really replying to them in the in these comment sections, you can always just leave a question in the other stuff I do, you know. Um, and I'll definitely see it there and I can reply to it there. Uh, but yeah, you know, um, it's I'm definitely not trying to be rude or anything, you know. It, if you know me, you know that I love going into the comment section because like that to me that's one of the most fun things about YouTube you know um talking to people from like all over the place so yeah if you know if I don't show up in the comments that's probably because there's spoilers in there uh, but please do know I see your comments uh, I I've seen a lot of nice comments uh, through screenshots so yeah you know I do end up seeing them at some point Sire may I present Ulrachnar Lothbrook You may leave us. All right, here we go. All of you. Ragnar's like, um, what? Will you not join me, Ragnar Lothbrok? The water is very temperate. He's just like, the fuck is going on here, man? <laughs> I don't care about treasure. I'm a very uh, curious man. <laughs> yes, he is. I want to see your lands and I want to see how you farm them. You see, I'm really a farmer. Are you saying that if I offer you some land, we could make a deal? Hmm. It's possible. But I would want something in return. You see, Ragnar Lothbrok, I am an ambitious man. I have great plans. And you and your 
warriors could help me to fulfill them. Ah, I like this. Your lands are lost, invaded by Jarl Borg. Your family has fled, only the gods know where. Now Jarl Borg lives in your great hall and rules in your place. Oh. <laughs> if you change your mind, your friends will be leaving at first light. <laughs> so he's still eyeballing him. Ragnar's disappointed, Ben. Not until we've talked. I told you, woman. I don't want to talk about your ex-husband. He used to own your body. But now I own it. Fuck off. After Ragnar, you will be next. Don't you understand? Forget Ragnar. I am your husband. Bjorn, fuck him up, man. Yes. Yes, like I thought. Father! Little man. Father! Hello, son. I'll meet you. Thank the gods. You still have it? Yes. <laughs> I knew you were coming back. I saw you down in the field three days ago. Ah, right. She's got the sight. What did you call him? His name is Seagat Snake in the Eye. <laughs> These little boys are so I cute. I want you, my love. The gods have marked out your brother. Or he'll be a crazy fucker. One or the other. <laughs> Rolo is back. Hello, Rolo. Hello, bro. Welcome to the shithole we call home. <laughs> Shall we talk? Yes. Double dragon, man. I want to attack that again. Now. I want to destroy your walk. I want to make him suffer as he has made my family suffer. I want to kill that mother strong with my bare hands. Then I must be frank with you, brother. I know you lost boats in the storm, but it's a pity you didn't return with more men. As it is, we have no chance of defeating Yalborg or regaining Kattegat. Then we find more men. There are no more to find. Believe me, I have tried. Bjorn! Come on, Bjorn! What's more is the news of your arrival has only made our discovery more certain.
as murdered good Christians. I say he should die. I say he should be crucified. What do you all say? Come on, Eckbert. Cut him down. I said cut him down. How about that, man? Think your Borg and his men. No, that's Lagatha. They've come to finish us off. Your Bjorn. Lagatha. <laughs> he knows. It has been a long time. Hello, Ragnar. I heard of your troubles. I brought these warriors to help you. He doesn't recognize him, does he? When you are. I'm just... <laughs> Father. I always knew in my heart that I would see you again. It's bigger than Ragnar. <laughs> You and I, Father, are bound both by ties of memory and blood. It seems your mother and I have produced a son that is both strong and wise. And if my sister had lived, she would have been the same. Yes. And you're right to carry her memory, as do I. For a long time, Father, I feel I've carried nothing else but memories. But now, here in this place, with you and with my mother, I feel reborn, as if I have a life to live. <laughs> Far too long. That was great, man. That was great. Oh, man. All right, man. That was such an awesome ending, man. Badass ending. Um, Bjorn, you know, you could tell Bjorn has been looking forward to this for a long, long time. You know, he's obviously missed his father. Uh, you know, he looked up to his father a lot. Um, so, you know, these four years have been tough on him. You could tell. And, you know, um, he finally got the chance to meet him and like he let all this emotion on you and he let them know that you know finally seeing you father and having my mother here at the same time you know all of us together I, f I feel like I'm reborn again so that was really cool to see you know Bjorn um, just you know being in a happy place again and you know he um, yeah he's just ready to be side by side you know um, him and Ragnar and Lagatha obviously uh, yeah man once again uh, instead of for uh, a fantastic episode five, I believe. It's you know, I mean, surely they're gonna attack uh, Yal Borg in next episode. Um, ah man, I'm just so happy that uh, Lagatha, uh, Bjorn, and uh, Ragnar, are, you know, together again. Yeah, man. Basically, King Eckbert, um, smart man, smart man. You know, he's not, he's not. Again, he's a thinker. You know, it, it makes sense. Again, it's really making sense what Athelstan and those guards said in. Uh, in episode, I can't remember what episode, but they say, you know, that he's just like Ragnar. Uthelstan said this, and he is, you know, he's smart. Also looking at the big, bigger picture, Ragnar himself steps up, and obviously the king puts up his son, so, you know, uh, there's no fucking around here. This is just a proper, like, man-to-man -man conversation he wants, and that's exactly what he gets. Uh, in something interesting here, man. Um, I feel like for the first time in the show, Ragnar was kind of unsure or he was a little bit uh, timid, or I don't know, man. I saw something for the first time here. 
um, you know, he goes into this, um, the pool, you know, <laughs> and King Eckbert seems to be in this pool like 80% of the time. Uh, I noticed that, you know, he was really edgy or like on edge, um, you know, looking over his shoulder and Ragnar's like baffled. You see that look on his face um, uh, of like, like, I remember he was just kind of like, he, he's just really confused. He's like, what? This king's sending out his guards? Uh, he's asking me to join him in the pool and like, you know, he was really um, uh, confused by <laughs> the situation at hand. And even as he's like, you know, um, taking his clothes off, uh, he looks over his shoulder like twice, still kind of unsure. For once, not being the most dominant figure on screen, you know, um, uh, he once he does get in there, he loosens up, you know, and then they have like a man to man conversation. But, you know, I thought it was interesting what happened there. Now, I'm not saying he's like scared of this king or like he's uh, frightened of this king. I'm just saying that he's unsure because this is something new because he's seen this king being so like laissez faire and like nonchalant and like super, you know, chill about it. Like he's sending his guards out. He's just chilling there in the pool. That kind of threw him off. I'm a curious man. And, you know, I'm more interested in the lands and like how you guys grow and farm and all that. And I, you know, uh, King Eckbert saw an opening here. He's like, oh, okay, maybe I can offer them some land to help out King Eckbert in his ambitious plans because he also lays it out that he's got, you know, great ambition and maybe you can help me out. So, yeah, man, both two smart guys, um, um, both of them looking at the bigger picture. You know, Rolo and Siggy and the rest of the crew, you know, they're completely fine, um, you know, with their situation at the moment. They know how things are. Uh, they know they have to survive. But, you know, Aslog being a princess, she's only known like a life of uh, luxury, right? So to her, it's like, oh, look how dirty this place is. You know, I can't have my kids living here. I can't live here. And Rolo, uh, really liking him, man. Really liking him. He is a changed man, obviously. Um, really calm, uh, really collected. You know, he, he he's he's reborn as well, it feels like. You know, just like Bjorn mentioned that he feels like he's reborn. I feel like this is definitely a new beginning for Rolo. And Rolo is, um, yeah, man, I'm liking this new calm uh good guy rollo you know no crazy thoughts in his head so i'm really liking this because i do like rollo so Athelstan, he had to make a choice here and it was clear what ragnar wanted uh he obviously wanted Athelstan to come along because you know Athelstan, you know he mentioned that Athelstan knows his family you know he's a close friend of the family he knows uh his family more than more so than anyone else um and you can see he was disappointed that you know Athelstan is you know trying to stay so the show's big on like you know foresight and foreshadowing and uh, prophecies uh so you know Athelstan saw something you know he's looking at the bible and he sees uh, this man being crucified and he sees like blood coming out of it so uh, obviously he was just i don't know if he was imagining it or like was it like foresight or like he's seeing it like some of the seers do you know like oslog and uh the ancient one uh, I'm not sure what happened there, but, you know, he saw it and that's exactly what happened to him. Shit, man, I thought for sure this is it, that Uthelstan's a goner, man. <sighs> oh, man, that was, um, yeah, basically he's being crucified and he looked like Jesus, man. He looked like Jesus up there, you know, he had the hair. Um, and I believe two episodes ago, or last episode, the the one priest told him that, you know, he's um, they're going to get him and this is what's going to happen to him and that's what happened. Um, but, uh, King, um, Eckbert, he goes against, um, the, the priest, but the king decides to overrule it and tells him to cut him down. You know, now I'm trying to think what that is, you know, why he did that. Cause he, they've established him as a religious man, but the feeling I got was like him kind of saying, you know, f like, fuck the gods. I, that's what I felt like. Uh, cause he saw this priest is saying, oh, this man has to die. And like, um, I guess he he saw that and he's like, no, cut the man down. Or maybe, maybe obviously he's got some kind of plan, right? That's why he did it. Um, yeah, so I'm interested to find out what, what his plan is. And man, Uthelstan is in a tough place right now, man. Uh, you know, but this man, this king, he's not a, he's not a dumb guy. Maybe he he has some purpose for Uthelstan. She kind of tries to talk to him about it, but like this asshole is just not you know he's drunk and he's like oh get in bed i own your body and this kind of bullshit and she doesn't want to get in bed but like he kind of forces her to get in bed but of course that's lagatha she's a bad motherfucker and like she turned it on him she's like 
you'll never treat me like that again. So that badass side of Lagatha came out in that moment. And uh, at this point, Ragnar's back, um, you know, obviously hugs all around. Yeah, he's got these cute kids. Um, it's always fun to see him around those little kids. Um, he gets to see his newborn son and, you know, for the first time he sees the snake in the eye. He believes it's a blessing and that he's going to do great things. You know, that's what he tells his sons. It, I feel like it's going to be that or he's going to be a crazy motherfucker. One or the other. And I'm not sure if the show's actually going to go that far, you know, to show us how this baby turns out because that's going to take a long, long time. You know, something else I noticed here is that uh, a bit of a role reversal. Um, you, you know, in this moment, you notice that Ragnar is the one that's kind of like just fuming and like he's kind of turned into the berserker in that moment at least and the voice of reason is Rolo. And Rolo is the calm collected uh, brother in this situation you know, he's telling him you need to calm down you don't have enough men uh, think about um, think about a plan uh, so yeah it was it was strange to see that man um, you know Rolo was basically calming Ragnar down you know, I'm really liking the fact that Rolo has really turned it around, man. He's really, um, I hope, I hope it stays this way. You know, no more dark thoughts, no more, like, jealousy. I hope it, you know, it's him and Ragnar, you know, side by side. Because that's a badass team, right? Talking about badass teams, uh, that leads to the ending of the episode. You know, Lagatha and Bjorn and a bunch of men, you know, fighting men show up. Uh, favorite part of the episode, man. One of my favorite moments of the whole series so far. You know, it's been a long time since, uh, you know, we saw each other. I see, and you see Bjorn in the background. Man, it was so great to see, uh, you know, Ragnar and Bjorn back together. Um, obviously, Ragnar and Lagatha still have some, you know, some feelings there because, you know, obviously their marriage ended because of um, this other woman that came into their life. You know, Bjorn, like, respects his dad and, you know, he, he just wanted to be alongside his dad again. A really nice moment, you know. Uh, Ragnar was like super impressed you know he's like he's like having a look at this guy who's taller than Ragnar he's like man you look at you um, and he was so impressed by everything you know Bjorn was saying um, and you know Ragnar even tells him you know I'm happy that me and your mother have produced such a intelligent and powerful uh, son and yeah man just uh, he's really impressed by how Bjorn's turned out uh, just super happy that they're all together and they're gonna fight again alright guys so if you enjoyed it please smash that thumbs up uh, leave your comments you know I'll, I'll get to see him at some point uh, through screenshots most likely um, I'm on social media I have a Twitter account Instagram I have a Patreon account uh, but yeah guys thank you so much for checking this out um, I'm gonna go right into the next episode after this take it easy